Hi, welcome to Kylogen's training. Kylogen's offers an intelligent OLAP platform to simplify multidimensional analytics for cloud data lake, and our training digital tutorial provides a fast why and how to approaching way, fully designed as business oriented, hands on and scenario storyteller manner. Here comes 101 for Kylogen's cloud. Have a good journey. Every data practitioner understands how challenges for business users to understand the data itself, such as column names which are often meaningless, not to mention the missing translation of underlying metadata into business-oriented terms. A great solution is Semantic Layer, which is a business abstraction derived from the technical implementation layer to uniformly maintain business logic. It frees business users from concerning about the complexity and provides a clear picture of underlying data source. Let's firstly look at how it benefits a typical scenario, Time Intelligence. Time intelligence is widely operated in manipulating data using time periods, normally including months and years, and then comparing calculations over those periods, for example, MTD stands for month to date and YTD stands for year to date, etc. You might first think of using SQL, however, just a glance and you'll find such statement is a bit lengthy and hard to see through. The reason behind it is SQL connects with relational database, which always describes the technical form of your data, while on the other hand, Multidimensional model follows the business layer, thus enables it as a more appropriate option. Hence we have to firstly set up multidimensional model before reaching an overall realization. Let's start with Kylogen's cloud. First log in Kylogen's cloud, choose a proper workspace like here demo, and create a new project, named test. After entering into the project, just click turn on recommendation button to enable our critical feature AI augmented engine. Meanwhile, We'll apply initial adjustments on recommendation preferences, to assure everything goes smoothly. Let the engine focus on only duration rules, and try best to respond to every single report. The AI augmented engine holds the capability of automatically discovering the patterns of data analysis and accelerate accordingly then. Now thinking in efficiency, what have to tell Kylogen's cloud at least to meet our goal, yes, data source might be the first thing come to mind. We use DDL mode here to connect to our tables from SSB, a widely used dataset under OLAP star schema, with 100 million volume here, being maintained at Cloud Data Lake. You can easily fetch the SSB dataset and corresponding SQL scripts for creating tables from video description page below or use own data as an alternative. Afterwards, we need to load metadata of the tables just connected, Pay attention to table sampling option here, which is on by default, helps to gather statistics, such as range and cardinality, etc. of a particular column, which play a vital role in tuning. We'll find several jobs running for table sampling when switching to job tab. Wait a moment until all are accomplished, back to data catalog and we'll see additional information like cardinality as we just mentioned. We'll start data modeling now, using model from SQL method. Just upload a skeleton query corresponding to our dataset is enough. Again the SQL scripts for modeling automatically can be fetched from video description page below. Put the model name as model underscore SSB underscore linearder underscore time and see what will happen next. Note we keep the option of add base indexes checked. Data modeling is almost done without further efforts. Let's discover more details in edit mode. We usually call it multidimensional model, which contains joining conditions between tables and most important, simplify data analysis to two categories, dimensions and measures. The only extra step here is adding a sum measure for revenue aggregation, the actual body of time intelligence analysis. Looks simple and no need to put more at current stage. Now let's switch to index page of our model, we'll find base indexes here, which includes all the dimensions of our model, and helps with quickly initial acceleration. We're almost touching the final stage, the remaining step is turning the status of indexes from no build to online. Now firstly we should set time partition column as per actual case, and the time format can be detected automatically. Then we can raise incremental index build request to Kylogen's cloud, with specified data range, here we make a yearly build, or you can choose according to the interval of your data processing.
we'll see data loading on job list here, mainly to complete pre-calculation actually. Wait a moment until all are accomplished, back to model detail page and we'll see all the indexed are online and the segments, where holds the pre-calculated data, are also ready. Now let's keep moving forward with an exciting component, Kylogen's MDX. MDX stands for multi-dimensional expression, which is an industry standard querying language for OLAP analysis, and also widely applied as a critical path to unleash the power of multi-dimensional model. Still here in Kylogen's cloud, we can go to Kylogen's MDX by entering BI tools and click the jump gate icon on MDX panel. Log in using the same credential as Kylogen's cloud. We'll start with creating a new MDX dataset, named MDX underscore SSB underscore linear order underscore time. The first step is to define relationships based on our models, here just adding what we created for time intelligence scenario in Kylogen's cloud. Next one under Define Semantics tab will be a crucial part, where we'll make several important configurations. Calendar hierarchy, which can improve analytical capabilities of drilling down or rolling up by time, must be established commonly before implementing time intelligence functions. Here let's choose columns corresponding to year, month and day respectively, to make a basic calendar hierarchy, and give a meaningful name for each through name column then. Similarly, we can rename the dimension in order to make it more readable on our report, for example, change low underscore ship mode to shipping mode. Now we'll introduce the main event, calculated measure, which can support to easily construct time intelligence metrics such as month to date of revenue, providing business users with straightforward insight into cumulative performance. Kylogen's MDX provides a lot of templates including time intelligence category. Open the dialog for month to date, set proper parameters, do the same for the rest ones, year to date, month over month and year over year, and we're done. Pay attention to use matching format while defining calculated measures. You may have discovered that calculated measures are key attributes of MDX, empower you to raise business-friendly queries on multidimensional objects, and return cell sets for the same. Save current MDX dataset before we can move to application layer. This time we'll use Excel which is a spreadsheet used by millions for personal and business analysis. At Excel side, you can add a new data source for MDX integration by selecting from analysis services. Simply copy the IP address from BI Tools tab and put the server name of Connection Wizard with the pasted one. Click Next to start establishing then, select MDX underscore SSB underscore linear order underscore time to create a new Excel pivot table once the multidimensional datasets list is displayed. You'll find all elements are shown at right frames, not only dimensions and measures, but calendar hierarchy and calculate measures as well. Here we select shipping mode and calendar hierarchy to rows and all calculated measures to values. Now by drilling down from year, it's easy to recognize by current name of each level, and our expected indicators, MTD, MOM, YTD and YOY, are exhibited accordingly, all target revenue analysis from various perspectives on time intelligence. We've just explored how Kylogen's cloud with MDX component tremendously enhanced the business understanding, allows quick insights on time intelligence. And now let's take a closer look at what actually happened. So, assuming BI tools such as Excel stands here for business users, and your data is already go cloud. Our MDX component is deployed just on the Excel as semantic layer and on top of Candidates Cloud. To bring better business meaningful expressions through MDX dataset, 
the most prominent of which are calculated measures of a defined model. Let's talk more about it. Those measures we define inside the model in Kalinus Cloud can be regarded as atomic metrics, which are simple aggregations such as some measure for revenue aggregation. We force Kalinus Cloud to concentrate on such fundamental and leave the rest to semantic layer, which is MDX here. Calculated measures are used when you need a derived or composite indicators that combine columns with arithmetical operators, and especially for business expressions such as MPD and YOI, etc. Here we can easily bound the semantics are exposed through MDX dataset to help users build a business-friendly layer and they are complementary for each other. Meanwhile, we can continue to rely on the features of Kalinus Cloud, for example, pre-calculation and AI augmented engine. Imagine a comparison with the traditional approach weights. If considering the solution happens on data layer, you can expect horrible ETO-like tasks ahead of you. Or if it happens on application layer, where you have to develop and maintain semantic information across different BI tools separately, try to show inconsistent caliber with additional efforts. It might lead to a fragmentation situation inevitably then. As we mentioned at the beginning, Kalinus MDX offers shared business logic. And the sense to all of this is to enhance business semantics on top of technical data, forming a unified semantic layer. And facilitating multi-dimensional analysis to your side. You can continue to explore more on the diagram shown here. Next, let's expand the scope from one subject to cross-topic analysis, where semantic layer can play a bigger role. Usually we prefer the pattern where a model contains a single fact table represents a certain topic, however, a huge amount of business scenarios require more than one topics that are interconnected, which is known as multiple fact table situation. Even technically we can bring topics together by flattening the fact tables, we are not advised to do that. Imagine if business domains are mixed together, and the data marts are not well organized according to the topics, it will definitely lead to chaos with changing demands. However, multiple fact tables analysis has never been an easy task as heterogeneity exists everywhere, let's look at a few more concrete instances. First case, suppose the order data we're dealing with is divided into two sections, one is header and the other is detail, for the convenience of statistics from different level. The header table aggregates at order level indicates the number of items per order, while the detail table stands at line number level, showing all aspects of each individual item, and the key problem is they're not agree on the granularity. Now we would like to know what is the average number of items per 1000 orders. The calculation is simple, but how to handle different granularity. Second case, suppose we have two similar fact tables, each represents different stages of the order, and they need to be aggregated for comparison. One we called order is formed when customer submitted their requests, only order price can be tracked at that time, and the other commit is formed only after the orders are confirmed, with possible delay of a few days to a few weeks, and will get extended price with related shipping mode and supply cost then. Now we would like to distinguish products with specified characteristic, get all items that were committed within sold month. Give higher weight, for example, 10x, for those items, which needs conditional metrics. You must be confused and thinking of a kind of complex processing is required indeed, but stop being bothered and we'll make it simple. Once again let's start with Kylogen's cloud to firstly set up multidimensional model before reaching an overall realization. Here we reuse the project test with AI augmented engine already turned on and its synchronized data source. In the data modeling phase, we use model from SQL method by uploading skeleton queries corresponding to our datasets, same as before, for both scenarios. To make it easy, the SQL scripts for modeling automatically can also be fetched from video description page below. Still, for those created multidimensional models, 
the only extra steps here are adding atomic metrics. Therefore, to lay a solid foundation for building up compound ones, we'll make a count measure for the number of orders of the header table and a sum measure for quantity aggregation of the detail table in first case. and some measures both for order price aggregation of the order table and total revenue aggregation using computed column of the commit table in second case, and leave the rest to MDX component. Now let's raise incremental index build request to make the pre-calculated data ready for each model, one by one. Initiate from the header and the detail models for the first case. and then deal with the order and the commit models for the second case. A while until all data loading on job list are accomplished, go back to confirm that all the models are online. Now let's move ahead to see how Unified Semantic Layer significantly simplifies those typical cross-topic scenarios over multidimensional analysis using our MDX component. Here in Kyligen's MDX, we'll deal with the first case, fetching the average number of items per 1000 orders across tables in different granularity, by creating a new MDX dataset in the same way. The first step will be different than before as we have to consider how to combine two models, here a conformed dimension table will work well, for example, calendar in this case. Next under define semantics tab, you probably already know the key action is to set up calculate measures. Here we set the expression as dividing two existing measures, which is really obvious in business understanding. Save current MDX dataset and we'll then move to the second case, obtaining conditional metrics based on comparison across tables, by creating a new MDX dataset once again. And the procedure is same, besides using the identical calendar to connect two models, the prioritized to do is to set up calculate measures. Here we set one expression to meet our conditional scenario, with the other one without judgment branch for baseline calculation, which is truly intuitive in business understanding. Save the MDX dataset before switching to Excel side. Create a new sheet in Excel, again at a same data source for MDX integration, select the multidimensional dataset corresponding to the first case to create a new Excel pivot table. Here we select the perspective of related dimensions to be analyzed, for example, year, market segment of customer, manufacturer of part, region of supplier and shipping mode to rows, and all calculated measures to values. Now you'll see the average number of items per 1000 orders is clearly rendered, even in multiple fact table situation with different granularity. Let's create a new sheet again in Excel afterwards, add another data source for MDX integration in the same way, select the multidimensional dataset corresponding to the second case to create a new Excel pivot table. 
Here we also select the perspective of related dimensions to be analyzed, for example, duration of order to commit and shipping mode to rows, and all calculated measures to values. Within very few steps, we've successfully achieved our target, conditional metrics based on comparison and multiple fact table situation. Additionally, while going back to query history, more details come into our observation. Each MDX query, which is closer to business language, was translated into several corresponding SQL queries, which can be directly understood by execution engine from technical perspective. Furthermore, if you're not quite satisfied with query latency here, our AI augmented engine can be leveraged and you'll soon get recommendations for acceleration by clicking recommend button at homepage of Kyligen's cloud. Just check out all-inclusive OLAP of the same series, Kyligen's Cloud 101, for in-depth reference. Now, I believe you already got a clear overview about the capabilities of semantic layer. Let's similarly start with the concept of reasonable division of labor, continuing from previous architectural perspective. This time, more figuratively, we assign Kalinus Cloud considered on certain topic, represented by a separate model and let semantic layer brought by MDX module solved across topic scenarios, from different data granularity to conditional metric situation which are common in the field of multi-fact tables analysis. By unified semantic layer, Kalinus Cloud with MDS component offers to build a whole multi-dimensional data mart with complete OLAP capabilities. Business users can retain their gain experience in Excel or other BI tools like Tableau, Power BI and MicroStrategy, etc. And the benefits are not over. Looking from bottom-up, MDS component is also distributed architecture, which can greatly optimize overall performance on complex metrics across hundreds of dimensions and allows business users to enjoy superior and stable query experience by leveraging the power of distributed Spark cluster and the unified semantic layer. While looking from top down, we bring a unified security strategy where user and data access management can be centrally configured at the data asset layer of the platform and carries over to all business applications at up layers to ensure the access control of detailed semantic entities. The key point is, with Kalinus Cloud and MDF component, without extra complexity on data analysis chain, thus allows to spend more energy to be focused on business transformation and to reach efficient data-driven decision-making. You can continue to explore more on the diagram shown here. Try Kylogens with Test Drive today at kylogens.io slash try or on AWS Marketplace. Get tutorial artifacts from video description page. Stay updated with our website and LinkedIn posts.